All right, guys, I'm going to bash around with my little MT-12 today. I have an MT-10, and that's the reason I picked up the MT-12, because the MT-10 is just a, a really nice car. Um, this is a totally different animal here. I Something I really like is I love these rims, man. I, I like deep dish rims, and these really look cool. Um, this one, um, the ESC, it's a brushless or brush system originally. The ESC says it's good for uh, 3S, but I don't think the motor is because the motor, when I ran 3S, um, got to the end of the pack and the motor was pouring smoke out of it. So um, I got like a little cheapy $25 ESC and motor in this thing now. It's uh, brushless, so I'm gonna see what it does. All right, let's get it going. Cool little car, man. ground clearance. I didn't really have a small enough pinion gear, so I had to cut the motor cover. So dirt, dirt will definitely go in there. I mean, it's going to just load up with dirt. The ESC, um, the chassis rails here, um, they're like C channel, so you can pull the bumper part off and just slide a piece of sheet metal in there, and then you got a place to mount your ESC. I mean, it's a big area, so got it away from here. Um, something else I would probably do on this car is I'd probably I'd probably cut that bracket there so you can get the motor in and out real easy without having to pull this give yourself enough room for a battery and then just relocate your switch in your receiver but yeah I'm gonna get it out and bash it around a little bit more I'm gonna change out this pack it's a 1500 C um, 1500 milliamp I'm sorry milliamp hour 60 C so a little better than the original battery. I'm going to put a fresh one in because I think this one's getting dead. Something else I probably should talk to you guys about. The motor the motor mount, I had to really bore it out to get the screws to fit on this motor. Even though it's a small motor, it has larger screws for mounting. Um, and what else? Yeah, I had to bore that out. I, had to, I didn't have the right pinion gear because the shaft is bigger. And the shaft on these... You need a motor with a really long shaft to be able to get out there. This this thing's just barely on the edge of that shaft. I mean, it's just barely connected on there. So, 
you know, I'm surprised it even goes as good as it does. But I'll be looking around for another motor. There's just one that I had. It's getting pretty hot out there in the direct sun. I promised someone I was going to show them these tunnels. Um, kind of, this is kind of, I think, where the homeless actually go back in here. But it's a pretty cool little area. Nice and cool. I like that. Okay, let's look at these tunnels. Glad I didn't take any further than in the rocks. Hey, could do some crawling in here, man. Pretty cool. Go in the tunnel and look at it. Oh, nice. Nice. A lot of artists around here. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is really nice. You can run your car and not be in the heat. That's what I like. Ramps in here. Some How's this thing do up the Let's see what's out the back end of one of these tunnels. I mean, the water has to go somewhere. And there's four of these tunnels, so... I don't know if this is the 215 freeway that goes over this, or, or what. But yeah, it goes back in here. And... Let's look around a little bit. Be a great place for homeless. And then what we got back in here. God, we got a lot of stuff back in here, right? Wow. Crazy. I'm gonna fall over. Oh well. Yeah, just thought I'd show you the tunnels. There's four of them, like I say, one, two, three, and four. Alright, where'd I leave my car? Gotta go get it. Get on out of here. I think next time for sure I'll bring some, uh, some ramps and uh, leave them here for doing jumps inside. Maybe a light and uh, what else would I need? Or maybe a rake to make the surface a little smoother. This would be a great little area to get out of the sun. Goodbye tunnel. I don't know if you looked at some of the graffiti on here. None of it makes any sense. Oh well. not hot either that brush motor man that thing got cranking hot man you could cook a hot dog on that thing when you run on 3s guys i think that'll end it i had a great little run with the uh, dr10 dr12 i'm sorry uh, nice little 
car really i mean i really like it a lot um just the motor's a little bit hard to fit in there uh, maybe i'll find a better motor but it seems to go pretty good just needs a long shaft to be able to reach that second gear inside the center gearbox um that's the only problem but other than that great little run had a great time enjoyed it thanks for watching uh like and subscribe